Hey, what's up guys, Ultimus Annex here, and today I'll bring you a brand new tutorial on how to download a Nintendo DS emulator. First of all, I want to say that I'm not going to show you how to download ROMs. All you need to do is just go to Google and type in uh, NDS ROMs and just find any links that, will, that you like to download your games. Okay, let's get started. First, what you need is to go to Google and type in Dasumi. Uh, yeah, Dasumi. Me, yeah, I don't know how to say it. Click on that. I'll put the link in the description. Yeah, click on the first link. And then you need to do is click on the, the one that says. Uh, you need to click on the one that says head over to the download page click on that and click the one that says um, uh, what's it called the Sumi uh, version 0.9.11 source for Windows or you can do yeah this one do not don't click the binary one because no one uses that it will bring you to this page As you can see, it started to download. I'll put, I'll put all the links in the description. So yeah, so th this for this simulator, you don't need a powerful computer. Like, it's not like uh, the PS2 emulator. You need a powerful computer to play PS2 emu emulator to run at full speed. For this, you don't need high spec computer. I think my one just runs around. 30 to 60, I don't know. I've played on the simulator for ages. Okay, what you need to do is you can either open this or I don't know. Um, wait, hold on. What the? Okay. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. I think you need to download the 64-bit. If you have a 32-bit computer, then click on the first link. Uh, let me just go back. You click on this one. If you're a Mac, you click on this one. So yeah, or you can click on this one if you have a 32-bit. That's a SSE2 build. Non-SSE2 build. Which means, you, I don't know, you don't have a powerful computer. Yeah, okay, this is the one that you need. Okay, what you need to do is go to your desktop. You could just right click and extract it, and I just didn't do that. So what you need to do is click on go to your desktop and rename it uh, whatever you want. NDS emulator. There we go. Just drag and drop all your files. Drag and drop. Okay, everything is all done. Now what you need to do is open it and open the application I'll show you the settings first and but first you need to download the games like I said at the beginning of the video I can't show you how to download it but all you need to do is just go to Google and uh, type in NDS ROMs or Nintendo DS ROMs in the search and click on any link I, I clicked on the first link so because that was the best one I can find or well, there is so yeah, that's it. That's all I can tell you. And now let's get back to tutorial. So what you need to do is go to config and go to um, control uh, config. This is where you can control um, map your controls. I'm gonna pause this video and map my controls in it. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I've mapped my controls. As you can see, you can copy mine if you want. You can just pause the video and you can copy mines. It depends how you prefer to play on, to play on. Okay, so what you need to do is press OK. Okay, I have downloaded my game as you can see at the bottom. I downloaded Super Mario Bros. This is just for demonstration. Uh, let's close that. Um, what all you need to do is just extract the the one that says NDS file. Just extract it and put it on the onto the folder that you made. So all you need to do is click on 
right click and create a new folder called NDS ROMs. NDS ROMs, it doesn't have to be capitals. ROMs, and just put it and put your ROM in, into that folder. Just drag and drop. It won't take long. It's not even a big game. Okay, now that's done, you can just close WinRAR. I'll put the link in the description for WinRAR. And as you can see, my game's there. So in order to play a game, uh, just, click on, just click on file, open ROM, and find where your ROM is. So as you can see, mine is on the desktop. And, and yes, ROMs, as you can see, it's over there. And click the first one, or whatever, and click open. As you can see, it's opened, and now the game is playing. So, is there sound? Wait. I think that there is sound, but I don't know how it works. Um, wait, hold on. Go to sound settings. Um, dark. Uh, leave everything it is. I don't know why the sound's not working for me. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It's not working for me. As you can see, the game runs smooth. Kind of. Yeah, so what you need to do now is... If you're having some trouble... If you're having some frame rate trouble... Click on go to config. Go to frame skip and click on one or two do not click on any higher than that because that will make the game gl really glitchy so yeah that's it and plus you can play uh, Game Boy games on this emulator as well so that's the big that's a good thing so yeah that's it I'm going to show you a little bit of gameplay I'm going to pause the video and get, go, get straight to the gameplay okay guys here is some gameplay Super Mario Bros Nintendo DS as you can see I um, game is running in th uh, 30 FPS and I told you don't need good specs but I recommend you need a, to have a good computer and uh, to make your screen go big like this or yeah like this all you need to do is click on file uh, and click on view uh, go to windows eyes and make it times 2 times 5 Whatever, you can make a full screen if you want. So yeah. And wait, let me just change my frame skip to one. See if it changed the frames. Yeah, see the game makes it it makes the game run a little bit faster. Yep. Come on. Ah, uh, jump. Ah, oh, no, I died. It's hard to play on the computer though. So yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you guys for watching, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like, subscribe and thank you for, for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial or uh, playthrough. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. See ya!